Cozy from Momofuku Milk Bar, and we are gonna make the bagel bomb today. We start with a really basic dough, it's our mother dough. It's flour, a little bit of dry active yeast, a little bit of salt, and then some warm water. The great thing about the Breville mixer is that it has a timer on it as well, so you can really sort of help manage the mixing of the dough and the time that it's been kneading. So we're gonna turn it on a low speed and watch the timer. We wanna knead it for about three minutes, take a look at it, and then knead it for another four minutes. The standard rule of thumb is that seven minutes is the right amount of time to knead any bread dough to really fully develop the gluten in the dough, which is the nice bready strands that we associate with a really great bread. So you can turn the mixer just up to the knead function. It lights up for you to help remind you that you're at the kneading step and you're not overworking the dough or mixing it too quickly. We let it rise for about 30 to 40 minutes until it doubles in size, covered with a little plastic wrap in a dry, warm area of your kitchen. And then after it's doubled in size, you're just gonna divide it into eight equal portions. Basically just take those rounds and portion them out into little mini pizzas. So we've made the cream cheese filling ahead of time. It's just cream cheese and then our favorite everything bagel filling ingredients. So bacon, scallions, black pepper, salt. And you transfer them into the center of your little mini pizza dough. And then I like to sort of bring it up like you're folding a piece of origami, just two ends to two ends. The important part is that you don't wanna to grab too much dough off top here because you're not gonna have any dough at the bottom to create a nice sort of even bagel dough around it. I pinch it, turn the dough over to so that the seam is at the bottom, and I just give it a little shape. And then we just put them on a parchment lined sheet pan. And in order to get these seeds to stick to the top of the bagel bombs, we make a little egg wash. Um, it's basically a whole egg. You can just crack it into a little bowl in your kitchen and then a little bit of water to sort of loosen up the egg and the protein from it. So a little pastry brush and you just give it a nice little paint. You want to coat basically every surface that's not touching the parchment paper and it's okay if you even get a little egg wash on the parchment paper. Once you're done brushing, you just throw the seeds on. So there we go, we have the bagel bombs, they're egg washed and they have our everything bagel mix on top. We're gonna put them in a 325 degree oven for about 20 minutes. To me, these bagel bombs look perfect, so let's pull them out. And they should honestly smell like a freshly toasted everything bagel. So now that they're cooled, here we go. It's the Momofuku Milk Bar Bagel Bomb with the bacon scallion cream cheese center. Perfect. <laughs>